Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. That cough was just like, worst time ever. But, welcome back, and um, we are at the pumpkin farm which we started building in the last episode. I haven't really worked on it since the last episode though, uh, mostly because I saw a massive flaw in it, but I did finish this side at least, although it's still not grown. Although, I am recording this kind of like the next day. Um, still got the stuff here, but I saw a big floor in it. Um, I would need to have four of these instead of three like I wanted to make 64 and uh, OCD. But this has made quite a bit in the few hours that I've been on here, considering that this wasn't even loaded for like most of the time. But yes. Um, as always, I've got new and original content planned. Original. Um, and I want to do a bit of redstone today, I think. If I have any, that is. Let's see if I can snipe that skilly. Ooh, getting close. Yeah! And he's dead. Very nice, very nice. But, let me go sleep this night away. Just like so. So, it's been quite a while since I was meant to build this. Uh, I think in li like my original plan that I made like two years ago, Possibly more than two years ago now. Like I had, I have a book, like a notebook, and I'm pretty sure it still has the plan in it for like the first 30 episodes or something like that. It's kind of crazy that I planned it, and it's kind of crazy how much I planned to do in those 30 episodes. Like in those 30 episodes, I was supposed to get further than I am now in the world, but obviously that's not going to happen. But this is what I was supposed to build around episode 13, according to the plan, an automatic oak wood tree farm. Uh, but this design is outdated now. I can build a much better one using the observer blocks. So let me do that right now. Um, have a quick look around here to see what it's like. Um, I'm gonna need to. I'm, I'm, I can still use this quadruple elevator, I think. Pretty sure. Um, let's see if I can power it somewhere. I don't even know where it's powered. Uh. I have a copy of it over here. Let's see how it works. Yeah, quadruple. And the reason I need it to be quadruple is so that it can push everything up. And it looks like it works. Yep, yeah, all good. So let me rebuild that and maybe we'll design it together a bit here. Um, Will not be needing that. I will need a piece of dirt to start with. And this is a very original idea of mine. I didn't know how to redstone. But yeah, uh, let's build it over here, I guess. We only need one. Okay, we can go, go back to glass here. Uh, you know what, actually? Let's not use glass, let's use good old stone bricks to mark redstone. So if we have an observer here, I hate these so much. If we have an observer there, and it just, did I actually get a dropper? I need a dispenser there, um, I didn't even need that piece of dirt there. Okay, uh, of course, weather, because I haven't fixed anything. Oh, that was a lightning storm, nice. Um, okay, so we have that there. You know what, let's raise it up one block, because I, I want to work one block higher than that. 
So this is gonna have bone meal in it, right? And uh, this is where you're gonna plant the tree. And yeah, pretty sure I can do this, right? Let's see. Yeah, okay, that's good. And it does a quick pulse, which is also good. Uh, that means I can save on a lot of time making pulse shortness and stuff that I had to do over there because the, this did not exist back then. This was made in 1.8. It's 1.12 now. But anyway, um, that will have to come around somewhere around here. Uh, I guess I can use normal pistons for this. One, two, th three, four. Uh, we can only do four. Oh boy, this isn't gonna work. That's not gonna work. Uh, because, check this out. If I put this here, this is, this is, might be why I don't like uh, these observers. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Unless I have a delay, which will still work, I think. Uh, longer delay. Clearly not. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Let's see. What I can do is have a pulse length and a, length and a like this. Well, differentiated, as I call it. I hmm. This is tricky because I know I can do this. There's a way to do it by lengthening the pulse. Ah, yes, there is. Which is why I need to use sticky pistons, I think. Because I'm gonna need to place it here, won't I? And then I can have blocks there, for example, wood, but we're gonna use bricks just for example here. Okay. And this could work now. This could work. What if we try something like this? I hate observers so much. Let me work on this off camera then. After about half an hour I made progress. Now it will only do one tick. But it stays there and I needed to not stay there. So it needs to give us another one, right? Oh fun. Wait, if I just do that, <laughs> that might no that won't work. Uh, I need to put something like that there. Wait, this might work. Uh, maybe not. Maybe now? Hmm. This is a very tricky thing to get working. Well, if I have another one of these, 
just a slightly different timing. Like right here, maybe even. Wait, no, I need I need redstone there. Uh, let's move this closer then. This might work actually. Okay, I'm moving closer by one. So there was four there, one there, like a so. And you should do pretty much the same here. Uh, this is going to be the general meeting point, I guess. Though I have this off at a different timing. Let's say two ticks. And let's mirror it. It's probably not going to work, but it's worth a try. At this point, anything is. Oh, I wrote your line. So useful. Two ticks is not enough, clearly. Let's try four ticks. Nope. Hmm. Their idea is, is to not have a direct signal from that. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe if I have these at a slightly different timing. Okay, I, I'm not actually looking at why it's not working. Oh, right, so the signal's not strong enough. I mean, it's not long enough, that's why. <coughs> okay. If I try it now, no. What about this? Well, this is a start. Redstone is really messed up for some reason, so... For some reason, I had this exact design facing this way, yeah? So, originally when I built this, it was facing that way. And I had this exact same thing, but it was over here, yeah? And it did not work when I moved it here. And for some reason I had to change the timings on this to be this for it to work, even though it was exactly the same as it was literally two blocks away. It makes no sense to me, but for some reason it works now. At least it works, that's a good thing. Now the idea is is that I'm just going to give it a second signal. Although this won't really work, it's just going to go in the loop again, isn't it? Uh, let's see though. Ah, see? Loop. Although, that doesn't help a whole lot. Yeah, see, it's loop. I need to get rid of the loop in any way possible, but... It's hard, apparently, without making a whole giant mess. Oh, finally, after ages, I have finally figured this out. It is quite simple, actually. I was gonna go with a hopper clock design originally, which would have used this, but I decided to cut short without using this. And if I just went straight to this, it would have been so much simpler, but watch this. Oh yeah. So basically what happens is this gives a one tick uh, signal which powers this piston. The piston extracts, uh, powers the redstone block goes here, powers this line, which of course powers these pistons, extracting them. But whilst that's happening, what is, uh, this is getting powered and after a little bit of a delay, this 
also re retracts, I mean extracts, this having already retracted, uh, pushes the block back, unpowering this, and these go back, but this cannot move, this piston cannot move this block back there because this is still extracted, so it works. So nice. And as I've wasted most of my time on this, I don't think I'll be able to finish this in the little bit of time that I have left. But let's have a go anyway. Alright, so I got this built. Uh, now let's just replace these with wood. So that the tree can actually grow there when, when it does. Um, and this is pretty much it to the main thing. The rest is quite simple to work out actually. Um, basically a bunch of uh, bud, not, not bud, it's not bud, uh, basically a bunch of smart pistons. Um, I don't know what you would call them. Basically a torch, block goes in front of the torch, powers the piston, pushes the block, piston gets unpowered, goes back, next block gets pushed, so on and so forth. Uh, that kind of smart piston, and uh, oh, geez, I'm going to need to do this. This is going to be fun. Um, let, let let me try to work out how to do it. Uh, and I'm talking about the one and only four block extender. I'm going to have to open the another game so I can copy it easily. Okay, so running two games at a time maybe wasn't the smartest idea of mine. Uh, kind of crashed. Luckily, nothing seems to have actually broken so far. Um, no corruptions that I see. Might be a problem with inventories though. My inventory looks fine though, so maybe not. That would be very good if there is no problem. But if there is, that is a problem. There is no problem. Very good. Very good. So let's not run two games at a time. That that did not go well. I, d I don't know what, what I ran out of. I think I might have ran out of RAM, actually. Yeah, I probably ran out of RAM because um, I dedicated too much to the, to the games. Like, the system itself uses about 1.8 gigs out of my 8 gigs and I dedicated three and a half gigs to each one, so that may just have run out because there's there wasn't enough to each game left dedicated for it to stay stable and so it decided to crash, but yeah, uh, let's try not to do that. Maybe, maybe we won't do this today then. Um, because it, it kind of needs me to run two games at a time and I don't feel like crashing all the time. So I'll maybe just leave that there. Because I did not want any corruptions, and the game actually warned me about corruptions. So yeah, maybe maybe not do that ever again. I'll just take like a few screenshots and stuff and look at them or something. Just checking that everything's still there. Yeah, it 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 should be fine. Um, the only problem, the only real re real reason for there to be a problem with inventories is if you downgrade. That should, that's the only problem. When you downgrade, you're pretty much guaranteed to lose everything in the inventories. Apart from maybe your own. But yeah, that did not go to plan. And, uh... Kind of run out of time now. So, I cleaned up one of these chests. I just got this one left to do, so how about we do that now? Because it's really annoying me. I want to get rid of it all. I want to make that path look nice and actually I need to finish it. So shall we finish it now? Because it's been a few episodes since I actually started it. Oh, and it's still technically not done. Um, okay. Just just now, I guess. You can break it. What's in it? I should technically sort this out, like all the item sorting and stuff, but... You know me, I'm kind of lazy. 
Perfect fit. Okay, I need some leaves. Good. And... Let's just try leaves. I, get, I see the mushrooms have spread quite a bit here, actually. I think that looks pretty, I think that looks pretty good here. I, it, it suits this area, otherwise I, any other area I would be unhappy with, but it suits this area quite well, actually. Like, this is a slightly damp area, like there's vines and stuff. I think these mushrooms really suit it. Yeah, let's try doing something a little like this. Uh, not a fan. Not a fan of that at all. There's like no depth at all. So let's keep it the way it was, like this. But I do want to place something there. Let's see if saplings look good. No, they don't. Um. I don't know what to place there then. I guess vines could work. Yeah, vines would definitely work, so let me get some. There's some up here, I believe. Might not be enough. Maybe there's a few. Uh, somewhere. Come on, I had vines right here somewhere. Am I blind? I must be blind. There we go. I thought I had 29. Pretty close. If we do this, those will obviously grow. Well, if we do this, how does that look now? It looks too green, but it looks better than it was. That's for sure. Maybe that's a bit of an overload for vines, but... I think we should keep it at something like that. Um, place that place the vine over there. These vines kind of overgrew a bit. Um, the idea was that there's going to be some grass here, so they don't grow that far, but I accidentally destroyed it, so... Eh, my, kind of my problem, but, you know, got to need to fix it anyway. This I'm quite happy with, I, li I like that. It's kind of an interesting entrance here, going through the vine. Um, maybe a vine there. One over there as well. Ooh, right there. Yeah. I know that they would spread there eventually, but I, I'd like to do it that. Uh, a vine might spread there. But that's fine. Uh, I think. I think that's fine. Let's put one there as well. Vines. I like vines. But yes. Thank you for watching. And sorry that I didn't do much productive stuff today. It did take a really long time for me to work out that redstone. And believe me. Redstone is not easy when you have no idea how it works. I mean I have no idea how... Uh, those. I'm not experienced enough with the observers, basically. Because I never liked them and I still don't like them. But they are useful. Like, I never I never didn't admit that they're not useful, but I, did, I never liked them because there was always a way to make something work without an observer. And observers just. ah, uh, really messy to work with. But anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.